What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we back, back like, like we, we never, never left. left. Y'all, we are super excited, ecstatic to jump back into Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be checking out today. This is actually the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, we did the Sorcerer's Stone. So, uh, as far as this one, I have no idea where this story, where this plot is going. I just know from the last Harry Potter that we watched, it was more of like an introduction showing how like Harry Potter grew up. Yeah. Um, like his early, early beginnings and then him going to the actual school, to Hogwarts. And then kind of like really f finding his new family there, I think. You know? I think he found a new family. But, but yeah, right sure. then, like at the end, they were going back home though. So Yeah, so I guess it was like the end of the school year. Yeah. Something like that. I don't really know how it goes. And wizard school as far as spring break, summer school, uh, summer vacation. Yeah. But I guess it was the end of the year. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, I guess so. So yeah. we'll, we'll see. And it's ironic. Our kids, they just got out of last school. last week for summer vacation. So yeah, it is what it is. Summertime is here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get your grocery bills ready. Just saying. Absolutely. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> They each out of house and a home now. All day, every day. They each out of house and a home. Yeah, y'all. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I was enjoying like just learning all the new characters and just trying to figure out who who everybody was too. Yeah. So me too. so this should be really really cool checking out the second installment. Agree, agree. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon and check out all of our unedited. Uncut videos as well as all of our yep. TV series, behind the scenes footage, Patreon posts, all that good stuff, y'all. Okay? And shoot, if you're not a part of the fam, you're missing out. Make sure y'all pull up. Uh, and yeah, y'all go ahead and kick back, sit back and relax. K go ahead and catch a seat, catch the couch. And hey, that's where we at. We're on the couch tonight. And, and uh, we're about to get it in. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber Oops. of Secrets. Back in the suburbs. Yep. Okay, so it does look like he went back home. I can't let you out, Hedwig. I'm not allowed to use magic outside of school. Besides, if Uncle Vernon... Uh-oh. I'm warning you. If you can't control that bloody bird, it'll have to go. If I could only let her out for an hour or two... <laughs> so you can send secret messages to your freaky little friends? No, sir. But I haven't had any messages. Not one. Who'd want to be friends with you? <laughs> That's <messed up. laughs> Harry Potter. Such an honor it is. Who is this? Who are you? Dobby, sir. <laughs> Dobby the house elf. Dobby has come to tell you. Oh, 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 Stop. Keep quiet. What the devil are you doing up here? I, I was just sorry. <laughs> One more sound, and you wish you'd never been born, boy. I don't belong here. I belong in your world. It's the only place I've got friends. Friends who don't even write to Harry Potter? How do you know my friends haven't been writing to me? Harry Potter mustn't be angry with Dobby. If Harry Potter thought his friends had forgotten him, he might not want to go back to school, sir. He was holding information. And then he's gone poof. Poof be gone. Is that a flying lawnmower? <laughs> That's oh! That <laughs> like. It most certainly can't more. be a car. <laughs> Oh, Hi, look. Ron. Ron Weasley. What are you all doing here? Rescuing you, of course. Now, come on, get your trunk. <laughs> Pop the trunk. Go! Come on, Harry, hurry up. The journey is escaping! 
no. No! Let him go! Hit the gas! Ha <laughs> 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 Yeah! We out! Bye! That's what his uncle get. By the way, Harry. Happy birthday. Oh, and Anne is his birthday. Yeah, aww. Dang, they didn't even acknowledge it. <laughs> At all. Where have you been? Harry, how wonderful to see you, dear. Beds empty, car gone. You could have died. You could have been seen. <laughs> Sound like somebody's mama. For sure. Have you seen my jumper? Yes, it was on the cat. Hello. Oh, I love. She's like, I can't believe he's in my house. She's been talking about your summer. A bit annoying, really. Well done. And who are you? I'm Harry, sir. Harry Potter. Good Lord. Are you really? When did you get here? This morning. Your sons flew that enchanted car of yours to Surrey and back. Did you really? How'd it go? Oh, did you ever... <laughs> <laughs> Just like a dad. Right. Here we are, Harry. You go first, dear. But Harry's never traveled by flu powder before, Mum. Oh, well, you go first, John, so that Harry can see how it's done. Yeah, you go first. You go first. Diagon Alley! Oh, I'm not doing that! That former travel seemed a little dangerous. <laughs> That's it. Don't forget to speak very clearly. Diagonally. What did he say, dear? Diagonally. <laughs> he gonna end up somewhere else. Only he pronounced it right. Uh, did he go where the other boy went? Okay, I think he said the wrong thing. Glasses cracked and everything. What did you do to your glasses? Achilles Reparo. Achilles Reparo. Oh, Harry, thank goodness. Gilroy. I thought he said the wrong thing. <laughs> I didn't think that he was going to find him for some reason until he got out there. Harry Potter. Excuse me, See how he be looking? He like, how do y'all know me? <laughs> nice big smile, Harry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what an extraordinary moment this is. <laughs> Look how they looking like. <laughs> but you love that, didn't you, Potter? You can't even go to a bookshop without making the front page. Now, now, Draco, play nicely. Lucius Malfoy. Do me the Lucius. Let me see. Red hair, vacant expression. Tatty. Second hand book, you must be at the Weasleys. Mm. Children, it's a man in here, it's cat's eye. Where, where, where? Weasley Senior. And I thought your family could sink no lower. I'll see you at work. I wouldn't want him to be my co worker. 10.58, come on, come on. Train will be leaving any moment. Hold it back to nine three fours. <laughs> Go. Why didn't it work for them? Oh no, not the bird. The gateway sealed itself for some reason. The train That's a little exactly weird. 11 o'clock, we missed it. Maybe we should just go and wait by the car. <laughs> the car? I wonder why, the, why it just sealed off, why they yeah. couldn't go through. I don't... Oh, they made it. Welcome home. Hogwarts. Uh-oh, they got a bad timing belt. Oh, that sounds like the alternator, actually. <laughs> sounds like a bad alternator. <laughs> Find that tree. You better land this puppy. Stop, stop, stop. What about the bird? Oh, he broke the... Oh, man. Alistair wishes stop us. See, it worked. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> they ain't do nothing. Now, that's one heck of a landing. Look at my wand. 
Hopefully it's not your neck. What was it? I don't know. Ah! Oh, you're gonna have to get it's up the out the tree. Of me. That's one pissed off tree. <laughs> don't land in that tree. Okay. Don't climb in that tree. Don't land in that tree. <laughs> you can't sit with us. <laughs> Scabbers, you're okay. Staying the rat too. The rat too. I guess the car said to hell with y'all. Like, <laughs> Get your stuff and go. <laughs> the, the car went AWOL. You were seen by no less than seven muggles. Look at that. <laughs> Not to mention the damage you inflicted on a whomping willow. I think it did more damage to us. Silence. You will both receive detention. They just made it there. <laughs> they ain't even there five minutes yet. <laughs> they ain't even there five minutes. <laughs> and they already called it cause of mischief, I guess. <laughs> they in trouble already. Say it. I'm doomed. You're doomed. Hi, Harry. I'm Colin Creevy. I'm in Gryffindor too. Let me introduce you to your new defense against the dark arts teacher. Me. It is my job to arm you against the foulest creatures known to wizard kind. I must ask you not to scream. It might provoke them! What are those? They look like a little baby aliens. Little baby Ewoks. See what you make of them. No. They look like some little troublemakers. What the hell? It's like flying Teletubbies. When I said troublemakers, they. <laughs> they didn't waste no time. Flying Teletubbies, babe. Look. Sure, you can't even swat them. Oh, look. That's what said. I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> they took his wand. That was not smart letting them out. I spent the summer devising a whole new Quidditch program. Where do you think you're going, Flint? Quidditch practice. Phil got double booked. Malfoy? And that's not all that's new this year. Told you Nimbus 2001s. Look. <laughs> At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. There you go. Right. On oh. talent alone. Now say something to that. You filthy little mud blood. Oh, no, he did oh. not. Eat slugs. Oh, he said slugs. He getting gangster. Kind of backfired on him though. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Are they in his mouth? Don't. Don't. No. Oh, that's disgusting. That's bad. That is horrible. Can you turn it around, Harry? No, Colin, get out of the way. Oh, it's. Oh, God, babe. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. I gotta laugh too. That's funny. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, could they that not was a green one. keep shining? That was a green slug that time. Malfoy, he called Hermione. Well, I, I don't know exactly what it means. It means dirty blood. Mud blood's a really foul name for someone who is muggle born. Someone like me. Mm. It's not a term one usually hears in civilized conversation. There's some wizards who think they're better than everyone else because they're what people call pure blood. That's horrible. Oh, he's about to... He looks like he's about to pop. They've yet to think of a spell that our Hermione can't do. Don't you think on it, Hermione. Don't you think on it for one minute. That's how you pronounce her name. Hermione. Can you possibly imagine a better way to serve detention than by helping me to answer my fan mail? Why do you look like Jerry Springer? <laughs> <laughs> Without the glasses. A young Jerry. <laughs> yeah. Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> what? Sorry? That voice. Voice? I think we're getting a bit uh, drowsy. <laughs> Great Scott, no wonder. Look at the time. We've been here nearly four hours. I smell blood. Kill, 
kill. Harry. I think it's going to kill. Kill. They don't hear it. Harry, wait. I've never seen spiders act like that. I don't like spiders. What's that? Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. Enemy, enemies of the air, beware. It's Vulture's cat. You'll be next, mudbloods. Come on, make way, make way. You murdered my cat. She's not dead, Arga. She has been petrified. So unlucky I wasn't there. I know exactly the counter curse that could have spared her. Hell no. I was wondering if you could tell us about the Chamber of Secrets. Very well. Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago. Salazar Slytherin wished to be more selective. He believed magical learning should be kept within all magic families. Mm. Unable to sway the others, he decided to leave the school. According to legend, Slytherin had built a hidden chamber in this castle, known as the Chamber of Secrets. He sealed it until his own true heir returned to the school. The heir alone would be able to open the chamber and purge the school of all those who were unworthy to study magic. Muggle wands. No such chamber has been found. What exactly does legend tell us lies within the chamber? It is said to be the home of a monster. Uh oh, we're about to find out. The question is, who is it? Who do we know who thinks all Muggleborns are scum? They're talking about Malfoy. Of course, you heard him. But Malfoy, the heir of Slytherin. I mean, look at his family. Been in Slytherin for centuries. Crab and Goyle must know. Maybe we could trick them into telling. There might be another way. We'd be breaking about 50 school rules, and it'll be dangerous. Dangerous is my middle name. Let's go. Properly brewed, the Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to transform himself into the physical form of another. We'll turn into Crab and Goyle? Yes. That will tell us anything. Well, how long will it take to make? A month. But Hermione, he could attack half the Muggleborns in the school by then. But it's the only plan we've got. I think a month is too long. I think so, too. That's way too long. Oh, looky, it's looky, looky work. here. This is what I was looking forward to. Interception. Oh. Oh! Blimey! Harry's got himself a rogue bludger. I'll oh, stop it. No! You can hit Harry. Whoa. Hold on, they need to stop the game. They, <laughs> they need to stop the game. Time out. Can we call it time out? Come on, Harry. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Oh, wipe out. He wiped out. Oh, he got it. The snitcher. Are you okay? No, I think my arm's broken. Not to worry, Harry. I will fix that arm of yours straight away. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. Emendo. I think he got faulty magic. Hold up. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. No, his arm still look broke. Say, oh. <laughs> Is, uh, <laughs> he turned his arm to rubber. No longer feel any pain. <laughs> <laughs> There's no bones left. It turned into a, a rubber. <laughs> uh, can we get the school nurse? Uh oh. That don't sound like the bone growing. Who is that that keep whispering? Oh no, but it, it's like right there. What's happened? There's been another attack. I think he's been petrified. Hogwarts is no longer safe. The Chamber of Secrets has indeed been opened again. Is that why he's hearing all those little whispers so, and all yeah. that whispering That's going on? That's what I was on? about to say. 
Why are we bringing this potion in broad daylight in the middle of a girl's lavatory? No one ever comes in here. Why? Moaning Myrtle. Who? I'm Moaning Myrtle. Okay, we look how you don't need to be in here either. You see, you see look on his face? I'm not going down with Moaning Myrtle. Okay? In light of the dark events of recent weeks, start this little dueling club to train you all up. My assistant, Professor Snape. He has sportingly agreed to help me with a short demonstration. Expelliarmus. Did he get zapped or did he get zapped? He got zapped. It was pretty obvious what you were about to do. Let's have a volunteer pair. <laughs> One's at the ready. Scared Potter. You wish. Seven sort here. I'll see that now. Okay. Now he's not playing fair. Hey Chi. What is he? Get up. There's some sorcery going on. What are you doing? You better be glad he did that. Yeah, Harry went a little deep. A, di little di a little deep on Yeah, he went, he, went, he went pretty deep. Why don't you tell us? I'm a what? A snake whisperer. I bet loads of people here can do it. No, they can't. If I hadn't told that snake not to attack. Oh, that's is what he said to it. I heard you speaking parcel tongue. Parcel tongue? How can I speak a language without knowing I can? Salazar Slytherin was a parcel mouth. He could talk to snakes too. Hmm. Now the whole school's gonna think you're his great 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 grandson or something. But I'm not. It can't be. There's one clue. Right. He's uh, he's talking in a native tongue, in the snake tongue. That's the Dumbledore. Dumbledore. What? Double dump. Dumb dump. Dumb Double dwarf? Yeah. I, I was I was just wondering if you'd put me in the right house. I stand by what I said. Harry? Professor, your bird. He just caught fire. Oh, and about time to pity you had to see him on a burning day. Mm, mm, on a burning day. He's a phoenix, Harry. They burst into flame when it is time for them to die, and then they are reborn from the ashes. <laughs> you are lying, man. That's the phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> right ran up out the ashes, man. Is there something you wish to tell me? A little, a little secret, a little secret. Nothing. He should say something that he's been hearing stuff. Maybe he already knows. I feel like he, he knows it too, yeah. Because he probably hears it too. Uh, Look, there's snowing on the inside. Everything's set. We just need a bit of who you're changing into. Crap and goil. I filled these with a simple sleeping draft. But powerful. Cool. Look, they just stumbled upon it. Go for it. <laughs> oh. What did you get? We'll have exactly one hour before we change back into ourselves. I'm not drinking that. Not that big. If you want to change it to somebody else, you got to <laughs> drink it. Ew, they just put hair in it. Squeeze a little lemon. And go for it. Mm -mm. Now the hair is gonna go down a little rough. That's the hair, the, the hair goes down sick. a little rough. <laughs> I've been the same way. Uh oh. Oh, it's starting to work. I think it's working. Oh, look, look. Yeah, it is. Who's this? <laughs> oh, he turned into one to them. 
And here's the other one. Harry? Ron. But where's Hermione? I don't think I'm going. Uh -uh. Hermione, are you okay? Just go. You're wasting time. Crab, Coil, where have you two been? Why are you wearing glasses? Uh, um, reading. I didn't know you could read. <laughs> well, sit down. Thank you, bossy, and everything. You know, I'm surprised that the Daily Prophet hadn't done a report on all these attacks. I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush it all up. Father always said that Dumbledore was the worst thing that ever happened to this place. You're wrong! You think there's someone here who's worse than Dumbledore? Harry Potter? Ugh. Look how he frowned his face up. Good one, Goyle. You're absolutely right. And people actually think that he's the heir of Slytherin? But then you must have some idea who's behind it all. Well, you know I don't, Goyle. I told you yesterday. But my father did say this. It's been 50 years since the chamber was opened. The last time a mudblood died. So it's only a matter of time before one of them is killed this time. I hope it's Granger. What's the matter with you two? It's his stomachache. Scar. Uh-oh. It's coming back. It's wearing off. How, how, why would it wear off so fast, though? Where are you going? Because <laughs> look, his hair turning ginger red and everything. <laughs> we gotta get up out of here. Come out, we've got loads to tell you. Go away. <sighs> Wait till you see. It's awful. I <laughs> See? This should look like Dobby. It was cat hair I plucked off Millicent Bulstrove's robes. <laughs> she tried to talk. <laughs> How did she turn into a cat? I don't know. Looks like Morning Myrtle's flooded the bathroom. Here I am, minding my own business, and someone thinks it's funny to throw a book at me. But who threw it at you anyway? I don't know. I didn't see them. I don't know if I'm picking that up, though. The book. <laughs> What's the water on the floor from? From them, for, uh, from them flooding the, the bathroom? Yeah. No. Riddle. Hello, Harry. My name is Tom Riddle. Do you know? He said yes. Uh, okay, well, what? I mean, can you hear me? And how did we get there? Tell me. <laughs> <clears throat> but I can show you. See, I want to see it, too. You don't have no pictures? Mm -mm. Let me take you back 50 years ago. So I think I think he's like 50 years back now. Yeah. Riddle? Professor Dumbledore. I don't have a home to go to. They wouldn't really close Hogwarts, would they, Professor? The person responsible was caught. Is there something you wish to tell me? No, sir. Nothing. He was holding information. Yeah. Evening, Hagrid. Hierodog never killed no one. Never. Monsters don't make good pets, Hagrid. Okay, I'm gonna slide to the side. Oh! I'm gonna get out of your way. Man, that's a big spider. That's a big spider. That spider about as big as my shoe. You'll be expelled. Oh. See, there we go, right there. That's why he doesn't have any powers. Whoa. Well, at least he knows that. Right. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. Just can't be. You're stronger, quicker, and smarter. How many times they gotta show up for this game a week? This match has been know. canceled. <laughs> they can't cancel Quidditch. Oh, they canceled it. Potter, there's something the both of you have to see. This could be a wee bit of a shock. Oh, my. She was 
was found near the library, along with this. She's statuesque. She's just frozen like a, like a mannequin. D did you hear about Hermione? Oh, yeah. Do you know who's opened the Chamber of Secrets? What you have to understand about that is... <laughs> under the cloak. <laughs> Professor Dumbledore, sir. Good evening, Hagrid. That's boss. Fudge. Minister of Magic. Things have gone far enough. The Minister's got to act. Hagrid has my full confidence. G Hagrid's record is against him. I've got to take him. Take me where? Not Azkaban prison. I'm afraid we have no choice, Hagrid. Already here, Fudge. Lord. It's almost like perfect timing. The other governors and I have decided it's time for you to step aside. This is an order of suspension. I'm afraid we feel you've rather lost your touch. You can't take Professor Dumbledore away. Calm yourself, mm. Hagrid. I will, of course, step aside. However, you will find help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. If anybody was looking for some stuff, and all they'd have to do <clears throat> would be to follow the spiders. That's all I have to say. That's good advice. I was saying that earlier. Come on, Fang. They need to follow him at this point. Follow the spiders. <laughs> Head into the dark forest. Wait, spiders. Well, they get you a nice little light. Why we follow the butterflies? <laughs> Come on, spiders. Uh -oh. Lead the way. That you see me over here scratching and everything. Oh. oh no! Oh, that man give you like heebie jeebies. <laughs> Can we go back? No, look at that. That <laughs> sound like me. Can we go back? Oh no, babe. You know, not the tunnel. Okay. Talking about arachnophobia. <laughs> No, no, we're not friends neither. <laughs> I don't know Hagrid. <laughs> That's all I know. You're Aragog, aren't you? Yes. Up at the school, there have been attacks. They think it's Hagrid. They think he opened the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Look at Ron. <laughs> Hagrid never opened the chamber. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> It is an ancient creature we spiders fear above all others. The girl was discovered in a bathroom. Harry. What? Uh. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> it's all time. Look how they just descending, descending upon us. My sons and daughters do not harm Hagrid on my command. But what about us? I cannot deny them. Fresh meat. Goodbye. Oh, we gotta run. We gotta go. Oh, this is all bad. Where's the money when you need her? Do a fire a fire spell. Oh babe! Oh, oh my shit. god, look how they just sent it upon all the little them little legs and stuff. I know. Is that the car? That is the car. It came back. Lock the door. It's like you can threaten me with anything, but just not with a spider or a snake. Right. Clad rat right of there. Oh. oh God! It's not. Oh, it is it a clad. Arania Exabe. What did he say? Arania Exabe? I got, I got that. Next time I kill one of them wolf spiders right here, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Forget all of that. Grab the shoe and smash on it, okay? Follow the spiders. Hagrid ever gets out of Azkaban, I'll kill him. I mean, what was the point? Why is the car going back to? I don't know. She's still mannequinized. This is why Hermione was in the library the day she was attacked. 
none is more deadly than the basilisk. Instant death awaits any who meet this serpent's eye. Spiders flee before it. This is it. The monster in the Chamber of Secrets is a basilisk. It's a snake. Uh. Colin saw it through his camera, and Hermione had the mirror. I bet you anything she was using it to look around corners. Remember what Aragog said about that girl 50 years ago? She died in a bathroom. What if she never left? All students are to return to their house dormitories at once. Our worst fear has been realized. A student has been taken by the monster. You're getting dangerous. So sorry, dozed off. What have I missed? Maybe got something to do with him. Yeah, because he seemed... But you've known all along where the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets is. That's settled. We'll leave you to deal with the monster, Gilderoy. Very well. I'll just be in my office getting, um, getting ready. Mm. Red flags, red flags. Yeah. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Who is it that the monster's taken, Minerva? Ginny Weasley. See, I thought it had something to do with him. Yeah, I thought Her that too. skeleton will oh, lie in the chamber me. forever. Uh-uh. They gotta do something. They gotta do something quick. Professor, are you going somewhere? Uh, well, yes. What about my sister? Most unfortunate. No one regrets more than I. About You're running away? You're a fraud. Is there anything you can do? Yes. Run away. I'm rather gifted with memory charms. I'm uh, going to have to do the same to you. See, he's a fake. This is it. Harry, say something in parcel time. What do you know? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's definitely down there. There's no need for me to stay. You first. You sure you don't want to test it first? No! Jump. We need him to test to see how see how far down it goes, I guess. It's really quite filthy down here. <laughs> Uh, look, he just said, I can't take it. I can't take none of this. <laughs> look at this. Say goodbye to your memories. Oblivion! So what did he get? Uh-oh. I think he just caused a bigger problem, though. I think so. Harry! Ron, are you okay? I'm fine. <sighs> Hello. Who are you? Um, Lockhart's memory charm backfired. <clears throat> Do you live here? No. Really? But... <laughs> Trying to jog his memory a little bit. I'll go on and find Ginny. Okay. I don't know if that's a good plan. You know, he's trying to walk off on his own. He ain't got no choice. Look at, look at that. What? Oh. I feel like we're about to see like a new version of like Medusa or something. <laughs> Jenny, please wake up. Uh-oh. She won't wake. Tom Riddle, are you a ghost? A memory preserved in a diary for 50 years. Please don't be dead. Wake up. Uh-oh. This is a basilisk. It won't come until it's called. Listen, we've got to go. We've got to save her. I'm afraid I can't do that, Harry. As poor Ginny grows weaker, I grow stronger. It was Ginny Weasley who opened the Chamber of Secrets. Why? Because I told her to. What? She was, shall we say, in a kind of trance. My new target has been you. How is it that a baby with no extraordinary magical talent was able to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? Voldemort was after your time. Voldemort is my past, present, and future. How? Tom Marvolo Riddle? Look at that, look. Oh! You're the heir 
Slytherin. So this is what Dumbledore sends his great defender, a songbird and an old hat. Let's not do that. We don't, we don't have to do that. Oh, snap. Hell no. Look. There it go. may have blinded the basilisk, but it can still hear you. There you go. Oh, went right through it. Right into the cranium. Uh-oh, he got bit. Oh, he fell back. That's how you slay a dragon. A Slytherin dragon. <laughs> a Slytherin. <laughs> it, got, it bit him though, like his tooth was in his arm. Remarkable, isn't it? How quickly the venom of the basilisk penetrates the body. Oh, it does, it does. What are you doing? No! <laughs> Everything he messed up. He literally got obliterated. It's all right, Jimmy. It's over. It's just a memory. <laughs> <laughs> That's more than magic. You have broken perhaps a dozen school rules. <sighs> it is only fitting that you both receive special awards for services to the school. Hey. Hey, come on now. That works. After everything we done been through, we can't get in trouble for this. I sense that something is troubling you. I couldn't help but notice certain similarities between Tom Riddle and me. If I'm not mistaken, Harry, he transferred some of his powers to you the night he gave you that scar. Mm. It is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It is our choices. Look more closely at this. Godric Gryffindor. It would take a true Gryffindor to pull that out of the hat. Dobby, so this is your master. Mm. Maybe he's trying to sabotage Harry Potter. The culprit has been identified. Oh, yeah. Voldemort. See? Yeah. By means of this. The book. Fortunately. Hold up. You see that? Mr. Malfoy. I have something of yours. Mine? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know. I think you slipped the diary into Ginny Weasley's cauldron that day at Diagon Alley. You do? Do you? I don't like his attitude. Mm -mm. <laughs> Master has given Dobby a shock. What? I didn't. Dobby is free. No longer a slave. <laughs> Look, it was a sock. Trust me, my servant. You shall not harm Harry Potter. <laughs> Okay, him to take his own medicine. Yeah. Hermione, welcome back. Thanks, Sir Nicholas. It's Hermione. Look, she woke up and everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, welcome back, Hermione. It's good to be back. Sorry I'm late. Hey, I'd just like to say that uh, if it hadn't been for you, Harry, and Ron, and Hermione, of course, I'd still be you nowhere. So I'd just like to say 
Thanks. There's no Hogos without you, Hagrid. Ah. Can I give him a round of applause? I think his eyes getting all teary eyed. Oh, no. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah. What a good ending too. <laughs> they had a good ending too. Yeah, it had a good ending. Nice Harry ending. Potter for the win. Again. I like like the the mystery that they put into this though. Cause you, I, I had no idea. I had I didn't know who it was going to be. I kind of I kind of suspected the Malfoys a little bit, but at the same time, I thought it was going to be the guy that was in all black. I always got my eye on him though, like because he just seemed like it black. was just something about him. Yeah, and the way that he was moving, and then I also thought um, that by you know by the end that they would figure out who it was, but. I just felt like you, you, it wasn't going to be the obvious person that you thought it was going to be. Yeah, because that's the way they did it the last time. Mm -hmm. You couldn't figure it out really until it got down to like the nitty gritty to figure out who was who and who was actually involved in it. But I did suspect the guy in the black, the the uh, the guy with the white hair, the culprit, if yeah, you will. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Malfoy. Malfoy, yeah. I for sure, I was like, it's just something about his. Even from the very beginning, so before, as soon as they got, yeah, because when they were walking through the. Through the alley. Mm -hmm. It's like, and, and then when they got to the school, and then when you saw him, it was just like, you could already tell that he, that he kind of had it out for him. Yeah. Because he's like, you know, he's part of the Malfoy yeah, family. Yeah, starting so out already they were playing the, the game. Yeah. Yep, yeah, exactly, y'all. You know? Oh, snap. I just like how like how they put the stories together, and because this one was completely different. It had, a, it, had, it had a yeah. completely different theme. It, it kind of gave you like a different taste, a different feel. But this one right here was all about like like the Chamber of Secrets. Yeah. So it was all about like trying to figure out that the whispering, and then he found out that he did that he spoke that that particular tongue, that he spoke that language. Right. And he pretty he pretty much was almost the only one that, that could understand it and that could speak it. That should have gave us a, a hint from from the jump, but I I didn't know that Harry was the only one mm -hmm. that could hear the mm -hmm. the snake talking. Actually, I thought that was just part of. Well, I did think it was part of his gift because even from the last one, like he was talking to the snake, remember? Mm -hmm. But I didn't think that he was going to be the only one with that particular gift at his school, you know? So when he was the only one hearing it and, and, uh, her, 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 am I saying her name right? Hermione? Yeah, that's, about, that's how you kind of pronounce Hermione? it. Hermione? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and the other friend, when they couldn't hear it, I was like, okay. Okay, yeah. And something special about Harry. About, what, yeah, what and, he has going and, on. And, and I think just seeing this, I think this is going to be a, a good setup for going forward to see all the things that Harry Potter possesses. Because I feel like Harry Potter, eventually, I feel like he's going to be like a step ahead of the, everybody. Like he's going to be a step up above the rest as far as just like his wizard, wizardry. I guess you wouldn't say sorcery, but I guess you could say as far as like his wizardry. Wiz wizardry skills. Wizardry. Yeah, his what wizardry babe? skills. What word is that? Wizardry. <laughs> okay. It is wizardry. The wizardry. Okay. Yeah, Be being in action of being a wizard. <laughs> That's the action word for wizard. I Doing some wizardry. You, you know hear me. that Alawash's Alapush's power, and then something all, all of a sudden happened. <laughs> That's why it's very, very important. See, Hermione, like, she good because she be studying the books, so she kind of know all the little spells and how to say them. The, Herm Hermione, she really be coming through in the clutch. Yes, yeah, she do. Yeah, because, well, they lost because, her at the end, Ron, though. Ron, Ron, Ron Weasley, see, he seemed like he's the one that everybody kind of got to save. Or sometimes he'll he's that friend that'll kind of that'll help and he'll come through in the clutch in the end. Yeah. But it but only after he'd have made like he, he's 10 not mistakes. consistent with his with his wizardry. Okay? With the wizardry. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah y'all. But y'all let us know what y'all think about this also. <laughs> um and like should we get into the third Harry Potter? 
Yeah, I, I think I think that we should keep going. I think that we should definitely keep going. Okay. Because I feel like there's a lot more in store. There's a lot more surprises ahead of us for us to get into, especially okay. for Harry Potter. Okay. You know, what I mean? especially where he weighed that wand. We didn't see much about the Nimbus. We did, we just saw that no, that, that one didn't. scene when they had the Nimbus two thousand one. So I was like, ah, I wish I could have seen. Yeah. A little bit more. Of that. How they kind of just threw those in, like, yeah, no, now we got the new new. Okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I guess we got to kind of keep on watching to see. Because they didn't really put a lot of that in here this time. I Not, felt like they weren't really needed as much because they only had that one game, Just that one. And just it that didn't one. depend on, like, which one of their little it groups didn't. would win and, or anything like mm-hmm. that. So, so yeah, they only put a little bit of it in here this time. On um, this particular one, yeah. 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 What is it called? Quidditch? Yeah, Quidditch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, well, y'all tap in and let us know what y'all think about this. Do we need to watch Harry Potter 3 or should we stop right now? Y'all let <laughs> us know. Right y'all now? tap in. Hit those comments, y'all. Yeah, and if you enjoyed it, uh, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. We'll see y'all real, real soon. Yeah. Peace out. Y'all take it easy.